Uh, so hi everyone now uh, this video specifically is dedicated to celebrate one of our uh, you know success stories with us uh, who has successfully made a transition from his uh, previous career into the analytics field so the main reason of this particular podcast is to you know make you people help to understand uh, how is the journey of a particular person so to share that uh, we have one of our uh, success student today with us uh, mr uh, sachin kulkarni so sachin Uh, i would like to welcome you to this particular podcast today with us uh, so as discussed uh, you know this is uh, the main reason is to uh, share your journey your experience you know with the people so that uh, you know people can use that and uh, you know they can follow certain things which you would have followed and uh, even they can find a success path like how you are uh, you know basically so thanks for uh, you know giving your time on the, this day uh, for us uh, so let Thank us start you. our session now sachin uh, so firstly sachin uh, i would like to basically know about your past you know before uh, taking this decision of uh, you know like joining uh, business toys or thinking about taking a course about this you know how was your uh, particular lifestyle what were you doing and also if you can share about where did this point come in your life where you decided that you should take up something like this to change your particular career so if you can talk about that please yeah. hello hello everyone first of all thanks thanks a lot uh, for asking me to be in this po- podcast sure uh, i'm little bit nervous as well because <laughs> as this is my first podcast i okay. hope i ca- i'll be able to convey whatever is there in my mind clearly okay uh, so uh, telling about myself uh, myself as you have told it sachin kulkarni and uh, i have completed my uh, civil engineering course degree mm-hmm. uh, into in 2018 from rama university bangalore okay and from there onwards till date i have had a four years of experience mm-hmm. initially i was with byjus for a three and a half years uh, mm-hmm. into a business development profile okay and uh, currently i am a lead business analyst in strategy and operations mm-hmm. at live space handling plan india okay that's really great uh, to understand uh, so firstly you know generally uh, i have come across many people who were like you before you know like who were into a particular domain which was totally out of uh, you know the analytics and data science specifically taking an example of your specifically since uh, you were into byju specifically into sales domain now uh, what made you take this decision that you have to you know make a career transition how did you come to that particular point of decision uh Uh, in my case sir as i had begun in 2018 okay. so i had little bit of a financial constraints due to which i was coming from a civil engineering background mm-hmm. i had to search for a position or a profile which gives me little bit good financial freedom and financial support okay. in my family okay that was the main reason why i joined byjus okay. so it was giving a everyone knows byjus gives a lot of money for in for sales field <laughs> and sales field is the field where you you will get lot of money So okay. that was the reason why I started, mm-hmm. and by God's grace, it clicked. The sales, okay. most of the people, it won't click. You <laughs> need luck as well. Uh-huh. So, uh, along with the hard work, luck also supported me. From which I started my career in sales after mm-hmm. certain point. When I reached the top of the hill, where you compare like manager role, or you are supposed to get associate senior manager role. Mm-hmm. So there, I realized that this is not the thing that I would be doing it throughout my career. Okay. Because that needs that hustle mindset. which mm-hmm. will be present in the initial stages of your career but it actually eventually drips mm-hmm. drops completely once you go a long way okay so i also seen people who are in 40s and 50s and still in sales okay i have seen their growth as well and i have seen people who are in tech field and mm-hmm. who are in 30 35s earning 10 times the what sales people are earning where you earning in the initial stages mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that was the point which triggered me and along with that as i was a manager i was doing lot of data things in my role on a okay. day to day basis okay so i was collecting data when i was having a team meeting all of those things mm-hmm. so then i started speaking to my friends okay. boss this is not the way i have to leave what do you suggest mm-hmm. and i started speaking to other people as well and started listening to a lot of youtube stuffs mm-hmm. how it is and how what are the fields first of all available in the tech mm-hmm. then on i think on uh, 2021 september before mm-hmm. april onwards this hustle started okay. so after 3 to 4 months of proper research and then googling all a surf google surfing so then what i understood is okay there are these many fields which are present how many fields are present in the tech field most of the people won't understand 
mm-hmm. they directly jump into the technical role or whatever their friend is suggesting so yep. first initial 3 months what i did is i understood my strength and what are mm-hmm. the fields which are available in the tech field okay and that's how it started so basically in the initial stages and then uh, there were few things which went through and then finally okay. i ended up in business <laughs> okay okay that's a great thing so since uh, like you said like you know these were some of the points which made you you know take a decision to you know make a transit so initial days of yours you know when you started this career you know like uh, to talk about uh, how did you research about because nowadays you see that lot of courses are there you know from various uh, different uh, you know organizations so how did you come across uh, specifically business toys you know to decide that you have to go with business toys specifically so how did you come across that decision so after my first hustle hustle of 3 months that is from april to september from mm-hmm. september onwards i started studying through the free courses which were available in online it might be normal google courses or blogs so after certain time uh, so at 2021 uh, december i realized that i needed personal attention i couldn't do it by my own because mm-hmm. i was working at the same time Okay. then after that i started researching the organizations which provide me uh, the business analyst courses okay. or data related courses mm-hmm. then i shortlisted several uh, courses uh, mm-hmm. might be upgrade great learning rest other things mm-hmm. so then mm-hmm. afterwards i uh, interacted with the people who were doing it so there okay. was a thorough research which went back behind mm-hmm. so then afterwards what i did is mujhe personal i have to get the personalized attention that was the mm-hmm. main goal mm-hmm. that was the only thing which drag me towards business toys you will get okay. lot of business uh, you know, personalized attention there mm-hmm. is a zoom class one on one interactions and you umkar sir vibhav sir is just away from a call mm-hmm. so i understood before joining only okay these people are here to help us mm-hmm. you will understand once you interact with the people are yeah no these people are related to finance is this okay. a sales call pitch or is this the <laughs> pitch that these guys are telling me that with the heart they are want to help me okay. okay so that i understood once i spoke to vibhav sir mm-hmm. that is when i like no boss i have to go for this i will get <laughs> okay. personal attention and i was actually lacking the personal attention most of the people in this world like in the mm-hmm. career transition path they miss the personal attention i was okay. not having any godfather who could guide me or an umbrella who, which, which could guide me i was searching for an umbrella so business okay. toys was that umbrella which guided me through my path okay. completely okay okay so uh, let's say talking about your learning journey so say the first thing was like a business analytics though you decided that you have to go with business toys now this was something which was new for you because this field was new you were coming from the sales background so how did you uh, like come up with your mindset or how was your learning journey throughout you know how you were able to learn the things though it was not your cup of tea initially so how did you start and uh, how was your journey of learning throughout you you made it to simpler sir you have to tell this how you are making it so simple for us to learn and understand it so easily basically uh, so to be very frank i was learning tools from the other sources as well at the same time it might be udemy or uh, youtube or any other blogs but uh, once i entered here i understood boss i'm just learning the tools it might be small things like average mean median whatever we are learning to understand what the data is telling is something what you guys ha- taught me to uh, learn so mm-hmm. i was learning okay boss this is how you need to calculate but what after that mm-hmm. and with practical and so simple way of explaining how you are talking right now you will be talking the same thing in the <laughs> class the same composure the same way of delivery and even the smallest to smallest things have been mm-hmm. explained in a detailed manner mm-hmm. so that initial the first impression whatever i have got here it's like ah easy this is easy i can do it it's not mm-hmm. so difficult as people are telling mm-hmm. it is easy it, it only requires a discipline and dedication and proper timings okay. and people hesitate to ask ask questions to people <laughs> exactly exactly so, <laughs> that's how uh, initially there were lot of hiccups and i i continuously discussed with you omkar sir and vibhav sir whatever issues i was getting Mm-hmm. and i was not ashamed to ask trouble you many times i have got a i have called umkar sir at 10:30 in the night i have called vibhav sir in 9 o'clock in the morning so okay. that is how my obstacles broken down 
breaking the yeah. things you now understanding the business analyst is a big thing and then breaking them into different small small segments okay. and then attacking them okay. that helped okay. me in the initial stages of my learning path okay that's that's really great to understand so uh, after your learning journey you know when you were going through your learning journey and uh, there was a time when uh, it came that you had to face interview uh, and you know you had to give your interview so how do you think the learning in learning with the business choice or the things which was taught in business choice how it was mapped for you so that you know you were able to give your best in the interview so how was that uh, mapped if you can talk about that uh, okay so uh, basically sir once if you compare all other institutes mm -hmm. they will do a project at the end of their learning pattern okay mm -hmm. business toys does it ulta in the reverse <laughs> way <laughs> with the practical projects i am i was learning so okay. i i didn't wait for any other person for the interview i started giving my interview after two months only mm -hmm. so in the first initial month only i was able to handle like three to four projects which mm -hmm. i knew that deeply i had gone into and i know the each and every data what it is speaking exactly yeah. so when i was giving the second in the my third round of interview i remember i had only spoke it was about 45 to 50 minutes of time for 30 to 35 minutes i completely explained each and every project which was explained here that's it okay. and they were <laughs> mind boggled like all the detail work detail in uh, all the things whatever it was explained they were convinced okay. so that is how it helped me to break so whatever i was learning i was practicing as well okay and it was not only whatever you have taught i was again learn relearning them i was okay. telling to some other person and understanding what are your insights regarding this okay so that is okay. how it was easy for me to break the interview because i was confident on what i learned and i was really very firm with my projects whatever i had done here okay mm -hmm. so that helped me so, to crack the interview process okay that is great so uh, if i can ask you you know if you can give certain suggestions or tips for the people you know who are considered as an aspirant who are looking forward to make their career in this particular field specifically with respect to interview things you know like what you would suggest that how someone should prepare you know which can actually help them to you know get through the interview processes what's your suggestion basically uh so before going to the interview process so first if you are understand for other people whoever are listening to this podcast so one very good suggestion what i have got my one of my friend so i'll just transfer it to you guys so be very confident on your skills if you enter an interview with under confidence you will not be able to crack it be very confident and do a lot of mock interviews with your friends with your mentors with people and listen to a lot of interviews which they have happened and understand what they are speaking and don't just speak what they are speaking understand whatever they are speaking is it related to me or not so when exactly. you give so much of interviews your fear will go off and exactly. understand whenever you are shifting your career you would have done any uh, basically in my career in my path i had done i had got 3 and 1/2 years of experience in sales Mm -hmm. so that is also an experience it's not that you have to have a relevant experience there also i have done some analysis part without knowing exactly so using that as your strength and then proceed further rather than are i'm i'm pressure to this field how what can i do what if they ask me this what if they ask me that rather than panicking if you don't know tell them i don't okay. know it's okay. okay no one knows everything even the people who are sitting with google or apple they are also searching exactly they are also google they are also google surfing and then they are doing they are just able to read a documentation better than what you guys are doing that's it okay 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 that's a <laughs> great suggestion <laughs> okay uh, so also uh, you know like many people you know like uh, specifically when they look forward for you know business analyst role of a business analyst so many people wants to know from your end you know what is to be a business analyst how is your day to day life you know basically work life goes you know what is that you do uh, if you can basically you know give some idea to the people you know so that uh, how does a business analyst actually works what will be his rules you know what does he do okay so uh, as far as i know when it comes to the business analyst there are basically two segregations which happens one mm -hmm. is the corporate mnc business analyst who take the requirement from the client and give it to the technical team 
that mm-hmm. is one business analyst next is a operational business analyst that is with the, it might be with operation strategy finance sales or uh, your hr there mm-hmm. are two things so i belong to the second category that means mm-hmm. i am handling strategies and operations my day to day expectations will be i am it's basically based on building a dashboard mm-hmm. that is the main goal building a dashboard for required regional heads or central heads or ceo on okay. your requirement on their requirement mm-hmm. so and you they don't know exactly where the data is coming from so they'll exactly. just let you know that boss this is how i want my data let us consider in my scenario a bangalore mm-hmm. regional head will come to me and will let me know boss uh, this is how my operations in bangalore is mm-hmm. and i need these dashboards to uh, understand my team properly mm-hmm. so he's not able to get so there you need to go to uh, sql query and then mm-hmm. query the data which was there in the cloud get it mm-hmm. to the one side and then they clean the data cleaning the data and then afterwards you have to provide a data when it comes to my if you divide my day to day expertise how it will be my day starts at 10 to 10:30 mm-hmm. and then 10 to 10:30 i'll see the dashboards that i have built previously how they are they working properly how mm-hmm. was it how mm-hmm. many people are coming and watching it how many stakeholders are actually using this dashboard is this a useful mm-hmm. dashboard should i have to build over it so first half okay. it will be 10:30 it will be like that after 10:30 mm-hmm. our daily sync up starts okay. of regional heads so they will be discussing their problems where we will also be part in case if you are able to get a project we will be able to snatch it from them from okay. 11 to 11:30 i'll be having a meeting with my team where we will discuss what are the roles what are the things that we have for today mm-hmm. from 11:30 to 2 o'clock proper work no discussion nothing until 2 o'clock we'll be working on the projects previous projects or the projects which we have discussed okay. so from 2 to 3 there will be a break 3 o'clock onwards 3 to 4 or 4:30 i'll be discussing i'll be taking the requirements again mm-hmm. then from 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock we'll be ending the day uh, depending on the work whatever we'll be doing then again okay. the cycle repeats <laughs> okay okay that's really great to understand i think this would uh, actually help a lot of aspirants you know uh, for them to plan themselves and prepare themselves so uh, you know so finally if you have to say some uh, you know key points for the aspirants uh, you know what would be your suggestion you know for them or what would be your keywords so that people can use them uh, to make their career also successful uh, okay so okay once you are doing a career transition mm-hmm. don't think that you are alone doing that career transition get the people who are around you to be a part of your transition okay this is the very uh, useful cases for many people i have suggested it has helped many people as well mm-hmm. second thing is have a friend who is already into that fit mm-hmm. and that friend should be your motivation and he should be able to follow up with you properly you you all will have a lot of friends in cs mm-hmm. field who are doing a data engineering or a business analyst already who are a solution architect as well talk to them make friends make a lot of friends who are aspiration aspirants okay then second thing is please be disciplined when you are working for example in business toys it is five days all days you have to one and a half hours you have to attend the classes that actually gives a discipline to you most of exactly. them it is completely offline you can study whenever you want that will give you a laziness mm. so have a disciplined routine and fix a goal boss okay. i have to goal is not like after 3 months i have to attend an intro that is not a goal after 3 months i have to be expert in so and so subjects whatever you have noted down that is mm-hmm. the goal and finally you will end up at reaching that so once okay. you understand this so family also is very important tell your family that this is my goal tell people people should mock you that yeah, what happened man 3 months ago you told you want to shift do a career shift what happened why still not doing okay. so okay. those people also very important in your life <laughs> okay okay so have friends and please understand i'm i'm whenever whichever courses you join please be very disciplined to study whatever your mentors are telling so mm-hmm. for that you have to do you have to believe them so do all of this and whatever i am telling it might be suitable for some of the people it might not be there might be different <laughs> rule which suits you so exactly. understand which rule is suited for you and then follow that rule properly 
or okay. you can build your own rule and then share it with us and we will also <laughs> ask other people to follow that whomever it is getting adopted okay okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, that's you. a wonderful uh, tip uh, actually sachin uh, so i think uh, spending time with you uh, you know discussing about the things uh, it would i think definitely help uh, you know people who are in this particular career path or career transition so first of all uh, from my end personally and from business stories i would like to thank you for uh, giving your time and uh, you know sharing your thoughts and views which can actually help people uh, you know when they follow it seriously so thank you so much uh, we are uh, very much privileged to have you on this particular podcast to uh, you know as a guest <laughs> you know uh, to share your things there thank you so much i'm, I'm, uh, I'm here as a student of business toys and not as a guest <laughs> i'll be the student of business toys thanks a lot all the best for other people whoever are uh, watching this all the best for yes. your career i yes, hope yes. the best will be with you and i'm actually very uh, you know sir how much i am related <laughs> to the business uh, toys this is this was one of my best opportunity that i could get within one or two months thanks a lot for yeah. having such a good course a beautiful course yes 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 i would like to also wish you good luck for your career again so business toys will be always there uh, with you throughout <laughs> you know your journey of your work and everything so thank you so much uh, good luck uh, you know sachin thank you thank, thank you, you so sir much. thank you yeah, thank you bye